Last year, I went back to Tally Cemetery in Stevenson, Alabama. This is a very haunted cemetery on a very long back road that comes out to a clearing. And I went with David Hawkham and his brother Resty. Now, you probably know David if you follow on my second channel, Jesse's Paranormal Movies, and are in the live chat with us on Saturday nights. David's always in there. And so some of you probably know him from speaking to him in that live chat. He was the one that first told me about the cemetery and the things he had witnessed there. Every time I go and take pictures, I always catch something in the camera, some sort of anomaly, a face, something like that. This particular day was very interesting. I caught several full body apparitions that day. If you want to see the complete video, Here's the name of the video, and you can go to my channel and search for that. On that day, I was standing with my camera, and I asked Spirit to show me where to point. I turned and shot the camera where I felt Spirit was telling me to take the shot. In this particular picture, I caught a full body apparition of a, what appears to be a soldier. You can see behind him a woman in black wearing a hat, and you can see a little white place for her eye. Now this was just so interesting to me. In the original picture, you cannot see anything at all. But when you zoom in and you look around, that's when I actually saw the figure. So you can imagine my amazement when I zoomed in and holy crap, there is a man looking at me <laughs> that appears to be a soldier. Now there is a, a teenager that was in the Civil War buried there, and this particular gentleman looks too old to be a teenager. He could possibly be the Indian fighter that is buried out there. Um, he has a pretty large uh, grave site with a big epitaph. You can see that epitaph being read by my nephew Brandon and another one of my videos where I went there. I hope I'm not walking on anybody's memorial. Okay, let me see. I don't know if the light will help y'all to see. No, I don't think it's going to help. There's right Okay, let's see if we can see it. It says Hope right here, and there's an anchor. Um, memory. memory of Captain Jacob Talley, who died suddenly. Um, something it was thought that of apoplexy. The 6th, April 1812, aged 57 years, 10 months, and 21 days. By his industry, something, it pro I don't know, of, of his credential. Hold on, let me. I don't know, it's so hard to read that. Let me skip in front of you. Let me try. I can't read it. It's where the writing gets kind of smaller. By his industry. It's hard to read it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but Pro it procured. Had protected, pro, pro, perceived That's procured. the divine order. A, obtained he dividedly the something except from the. Uh, the, 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 the something that God. The first in theirs. I don't know. That's, I mean, that's a story. My father, Alan W. Haggard, is a retired Chief Master Sergeant in the Air Force, in the Air National Guard. I decided to let him review this evidence and give me his take since he would know all about soldiers. And he is a major Civil War buff. You guys just have no idea the collection of things he has and the amount of knowledge he has. It's just super amazing. So when you watch this video, you'll see that my dad is very skeptical. He doesn't believe in the paranormal, but he has a slightly open mind, I think, just to humor me. But you'll see in this video, he starts out kind of laughing and joking about it until he really sees the man in the picture, and he becomes very intrigued. And he starts noticing lots of things that I didn't notice when looking at the picture. So here is... His take on what is being seen here, it's very interesting, guys, and I hope maybe I can get some more answers the next time I go. I'm planning another trip back to Tally with David and Rusty sometime soon in the future. Enjoy, guys. Okay, Daddy, I'm going to interview you. 
I need your opinion on a picture. I thought I had the original downloaded, but I guess I don't because I was going to let you. Okay, I was at Tally, and I took a picture of nothing. But when you zoom in, you actually saw three spirits there. But one of them, I'm, I know is a military guy, but I can't figure out what he's wearing. It's a little really weird looking. Put that in your lap so you can see. Do you see him? There's his arm and his hat. What the hell is he wearing? The hat. The, he's wearing a uniform. But the hat looks really weird. It's so tall I can't it's figure like it out. like a Tony Lincoln top hat, tall hat, you know. Yeah, and he's got a brim stove, right here. Stove top hat. And he's got like a, something right here and then a, like the brim of the hat. You can zoom in. He's smoking a corn cob pipe. Is he? Yeah. Oh, why is it not? It's not letting me zoom in for some reason, but usually I can zoom. It's acting I weird. It. I got it. He's in the bedroom again. But he looks skeletal looking, but you can tell. I mean, there's something crossed in front of his chest, too. I'm trying. I didn't know you were doing it, too. Why are you? Yeah, that's his uh, breastplate. It's uh, bulletproof armor. <laughs> Isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> I wish I had the original because uh, something told me to take a picture in that direction. And all you could see was David Hawkum and his brother, uh, Rusty. But when I zoomed in, like, with my fingers, I was like, <gasps> what the hell? And then right beside him, I don't know if it's in this oh, one. Okay. Wait a minute. There's somebody there. Look at this woman. She's, see her hair, and she's knelt down looking at the scrape. Mm, that's a, that's an elf. An elf? Yeah, look at the little face. Yeah. <laughs> you see the little face got the hair on top of the head? It's weird. And, and uh, the two little eyes <clears throat> and nose. But there is a 19-year-old Civil War soldier buried there. So, thought that was really weird. So, if you guys haven't... Uh, some of this is the... Look at that face looking out from the trees. I want to see. Freak out my kid. He has nightmares. Shut up, Mom. That looks like a face to me yeah. right here. Yeah. You don't think it is? No, it's a bag of Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. Find the weird one. There's something right there. I don't know what that is. Friend manners. Okay, here's the other picture. There's somebody right there, and there's a lady right here. I've got a closer picture of her. You can see her eye, and she's wearing a hat, but she looks like she's wearing, like, <clears throat> black funeral vestments, you know? And, uh, but that's where, there was somebody right here, too. That's kind of a blurry she picture. Had died or, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I've got more pictures, but these Where's were the at the end of that video. Um, I'm not video anymore. Oh, yeah, I'm still videoing on my phone, yeah. There's somebody there. There's that guy. There's something there. You can see his arms, back of his head. But every time you go to the cemetery, do you see her eye right there? But every time you go to the cemetery, you catch pictures. A lot of times people will see a little boy, and I got a picture of him, too. But, but you see different Yeah. But look here at this fella. He is sitting on top. There's his damn legs. Look how tall he'd have to be. That's crazy looking. There's somebody in the woods there. This lady's got her arms up like she's dancing, and you can see her dress. That might have been it on that one. I guess that was it, but... I was trying to find that picture of uh, that really creepy one. Of that boy, but I don't, I don't see it on here. Why do I not have it on here? 
<laughs> I've got it in the video, no doubt. <sighs> anyway, but but yeah, there's like a big tall shadow figure in the woods, and you can see the boy like peeking his head out. And everybody I've seen that's took a picture of him, it's the same picture. But the first time I was there, I was by myself, and is that that's a staff? Yeah, like a you know like a walking cane or something. Oh. A little hand on it with a knob oh, on it. Oh, he's got there. his arm in front of him or something. Yeah, the hand is right there. Here's the cane and the knob right there. You don't see that? <laughs> yeah. But is that hat? I mean, that's what threw me off. Is that hat typical of Civil War soldiers to wear? No. no. So I'm thinking he's either, but he looks, oh, uh, looks like he's got a beard. He does look like Yeah. That. So he's either, um, he's either the, the young Civil War soldier that's there, or he could be, um, there's an Indian fighter buried there. And he was real famous in the area, and they got a big write-up about him. Um, but the the thing with this cemetery, it's way back. It's in Stevenson. It's way back in the woods. And I didn't find out until I went there that day with, with David and his brother that there used to be a church there. And uh, people forever have thought that place was haunted. But like that, <clears throat> and like the cemetery close to me called Black Oak, um, it's uh, been a place known to have resurrection men come in and take bodies, you know. Yeah, like back in the day, a lot of these old cemeteries probably don't have all the bodies in them because, you know, they got great, uh, body snatchers come and got them. Well, when, when body snatchers would come get them, you know, they'd take them for dissection to learn about the human body. Have you heard of Burke and Hare from <clears throat> Scotland or England? <clears throat> they were notorious. What <clears throat> what they would do back in the day is um, they'd get, like, hanged prisoners, and they would uh, resurrect them and carry them to the local university, and they'd do, like, one of them big dissections, you, you know, like in the old days you see where somebody's dissecting somebody and they got the room of kids up in the... They would do that. But when the bodies ran out, they would... Uh, like dig in the ground and right where the head is and they break uh, a hole in there in the coffin and wrap a rope around their neck and, and pull them out like that and uh, it was illegal to steal the the shroud so they'd put the shroud back in there and then if uh what burke and Hare did is they also killed people like if they couldn't find bodies they'd kill people yeah, and you bring gotta, them you gotta make new ones, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the thing about it is it's called recycling yeah i mean it sounds terrible and horrible but um but think i mean you think too about all all what we know about the human body today what might not have ever been figured out had they not done what they did but um you see a lot of these teams with the with the real tall things on top of it mm -hmm. that's like a deterrent to keep body snatchers from getting in there and getting the bodies out so with the body and not anything that you're living that they were Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything else you know about that feller? <laughs> no, he's smoking a corn crab pipe. But it, it was, I mean, it was crazy like that. The, I thought I had, I mean, I've got it on my SD card about the whole picture, but sometime we take a picture in that area, you can't see nothing but the two stones and David and, and his brother walking through there. David that went Hawkum, this friend of mine. They're about y'all's age. But I was zooming in with my finger, and that's when I saw all three of them apparitions. And I, when I saw him, I was like, oh, my God, because I wasn't expecting it. I was just zooming in. And see if I, so that shocked the hell out of me. <laughs> well, that's not an apprehension. That's an aborigine. An aborigine? Yeah. What does that mean? You know, the Indians from uh, yeah. Australia. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it looks like he's got something across the hat there. And then yeah, there's his brim. Yeah, it looks like a brim, but the top of it looks like an old stove top hat, but it should be flat on top. It's weird. And then you can kind of see something on his back. I don't really think that's his hair. Something back there, but then he looks like he's got a mustache and a beard. You can see something on the right, right there going up and down. Mm-hmm. Looks like a corn crop pipe. Yeah. What? Coming out of his mouth here? No, on this side right there. Oh, okay. Right I see it now. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's strange. It's like he's just standing there chilling. Like a bird right there. See the wings? Huh. And then left and right in the tail. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe he's in the Air Force. They they have Air Force. I started saying they have the Air Force then. <laughs> <laughs> they, had Air Force was... they had balloons. What in the Air Force 1947? <laughs> but I couldn't figure out. I couldn't figure out what what all, you know, that hat threw me off. And I thought, oh, I asked Dad, he'll know. He was in the balloon corps. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, so he's got the bird in there and he's got the hat that he inflated. And he's like, you know, you know, spied on enemy lines. There you go. <laughs> But, um, yeah, she really freaks me out. There's faces, like, in the trees there. And, uh... So if you guys have it... Oh, here it is, yeah. Yeah, looks like something right there, head and two arms. Yeah. And a leg, left leg, cocked up. Uh-huh. I don't know what that is. But this thing has got a tail on it. Do you see it? It looks like like he's wearing almost like a Halloween costume with a tail on it. But he was right beside that shadow thing in the bowie. Oh, I can't believe I got, ain't got one of them on here. I might have to show you. Show you the end of the video or something. I just think that's a bag of Doritos. <laughs> a bag of Doritos. Well, it is. Look at it. It's a bag of Doritos. I don't see it. The litter bug's been out there. It looks like a face to me. Like I see dark hair, two eyes, and nose and mouth. Yeah, those are extra crunchy. <laughs> so if you guys haven't seen, this is yeah, this is pretty neat. Do you see that face right there the on the grave? The face is above it too, but this is absolutely nuts right here. <laughs> you, need, you need to go out where we went out and get Carson Cemetery. Just crazy.